mean, some small moves end up being big moves. Good people, it's your boy Mr. Rome, Cowboys fan talk, right back, like I never left. What's up with y'all, man? Welcome back to Car Studio. <laughs> no, not really. Well, I mean, sometimes, but look, first and foremost, I appreciate y'all. Thank you for the support. You want to join the team? Hit the subscribe button. We almost at 2,200 subscribers, heading our way to 23K. Um, and if you want to be a part of the team, you want to be part of the familiar or the cartel, hit that sub button. Um, listen, today we made a small big move. Shout out to Michael Gelkin for the news. We signed, we signed Carl Davis. I think he's a seven, eight year veteran, 30 year old, 31 year old defensive tackle, nose tackle to be specific, 335 pound um, I think he's like six five, six six, like a humongous human being. Um, we signed him to the practice squad, and I know most people say, well, what, "What's that gonna mean?" We got Mozzie Smith, we got Hankins, we got Oso Diggy Zua. We, we 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 good at D tackle, and we are. But some moves are like chess moves. This move can be a big move depending on the game. Sometimes you keep people on the practice squad to elevate them because it's game specific. And this is basically a trash can full of dirt. We don't got a trash trash can full of dirt. We got athleticism. We got super strong guy, Mozzie Smith. We got athleticism, Osil Diggy Zua. Um, we have athletic one tech, Jonathan Hankins. We don't got just true nose guard. It's just tiring to move me. I ain't doing much, although he has had a sack in the last two years. Um, I ain't doing much. I'm just big in here. That's what Carl Davis is just big in here. You know what I'm saying? I'm going just, just hard to move me. It's annoying to move me. You tired. You know what I'm saying? And maybe this is something to do with the tush push. I don't know. We just looking into different things. I think it's smart. I like the small little moves. Small moves turn to big moves. Another small move that could be a big move. Um, full participation from Peyton Hendershot. Y'all know Peyton Hendershot, Mr. Um, frustrates us sometimes because he's super athletic he can stretch the seam remind me of blake jarwin light but he dropped the ball last year a lot of tip balls that turn to interceptions so don't do that this time but um we haven't been able to run 12 personnel right man schoolmaker is not ready schoolmaker has not been ready um a lot of drop balls not poorly ran routes as far his ras score says he's fast but he plays slow i don't know if he's, he's thinking i don't know but with Peyton Hendershot coming back, I think we can bring back 12 personnel. We could be more, think, do more things with our tight ends. Do more things with our tight ends. I'm kind of happy he's going to be back. You know, Ferg has shown me more athleticism than I thought he, I thought he was more of a blocking tight end. Ferg has shown me he could do everything. Hendershot was his running mate. He, I thought he was the stretch the same guy. So having him back might be a big thing because Dak been airing it out. Um, I, I think it's, a, it's a, like a small, big move, small, big move. So I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at him coming back. I'm not mad at him being a full participant. Let's just see what they do with him over the next couple of weeks, uh, working him into the offense, because I like that's with having varied weapons. Um, small, big, this ain't a small, big move. This is just a note. Um, John Machota took a picture today, and I don't know if this is foreshadowing. It was Brandon Cooks, CeeDee Lamb, Artavis Bryant. Now, look, I ain't trying to throw Gallup in the trash. I ain't trying to get rid of Jalen Tober. Y'all know how to rock with Jalen Tober. He's young, though. But when you're trying to do certain things, you you, you know, little, small, little move, like bringing in Martavis Bryant, small, big move. I don't know if he's foreshadowing. Our media, our, our media that's close to the team, there's a lot of things tied to the team. When they tweet or say certain things, it's on purpose. I'm just saying, is that foreshadowing? Is that going to be our top three heading into the playoffs? We shall see. If Martavis Bryant gets elevated one week and starts to get a couple of targets, it's not that I expect him to be a world beater. As you can see, we got CD Lamb, we got Brandon Cooks, we good. But having a, a sneaky good third receiver that's just different than the other two. Possession receivers, quick shifty, yak guy, CD Lamb, 
um, speedster, small, quick, twitchy guy, Brandon Cooks. And then you just got the tall, long, striding, high point the ball guy, Martavis Bryant. That'll be kind of dope. That'll be kind of dope. Small, big move. Um, another small, small tidbit. Did y'all know Tyron Smith is ranked the number one tackle in the NFL in pass blocking? Number one. That is wild. See the number one tackle, number one left tackle. But shout to um, Tyron Smith on the resurgence. It's probably the non-practicing. I don't know, but I'm not mad at it. Um, a lot of people think PFF is trying to troll us by giving everybody good grades. I ain't even here to hate. I think it's dope. I don't. I still don't understand their grading system. It still pisses me off sometimes. But Tyron Smith, visually, the last couple of games has been looking incredible. Visually, forget their grading. Visually, so that's dope. Um, and the last thing I wanted to touch on, small, big moves, small, big moves. Rico Dowdle. Mike McCarthy was asked about Rico Dowdle and him getting more carries. I don't know if anyone asked him about starting, but just him getting a prominent, more prominent role in the offense. He didn't say no. He did not say no. He didn't say anything about fantasy football or nothing. He said, we'll let the game dictate that. And I'm letting you know, I'm starting to learn how to speak Mike McCarthy. I feel like that's a yes. I don't feel like he's going to be starting. I just feel like the, the coaching staff, Mike McCarthy does not like to pander to the crowd. It's my team. I make my decisions. But Mike sees it. He sees what we see. Rico Dowdle is important to Tony Pollard's progression or his resurgence this year because we were beating Tony Pollard into the ground. Giving Rico like eight, nine carries a game, 10 carries a game, is going to be pivotal for Tony Pollard to go back to 12. I think 20 to 22 carries a game is perfect. And getting Rico about half of those, one, he's been looking explosive. Get that man the football while he's hot. Two, Tony Pollard can run a little bit harder knowing I don't got to save myself. Small, big moves. That's what I'm looking at, man. Small little small little tweaks. That's what we're doing. We're adding little wrinkles. I'm curious to see. Look, I told y'all yesterday in the Micah video, I'm curious to see what they're going to do with Micah this week defensively. Micah ain't getting no stats last week. They're going to make sure Micah gets sacks this week. Bryce Young, man, you in trouble. <laughs> Bryce, you in trouble, man, because, like, I'm telling you. But look, Carl Davis is signing, signing a true nose tackle, a trash can full of dirt. I think that could be a, a, a small, big move. Depending on the game, you won't make him active. You are. You're going to make him active. Um, Peyton Hendershot coming back can be a big move. Us having more than one reliable pass-catching tight end is important. Peyton Hendershot being active could be a big move. Let's see if he's learned from last year because we rolling. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, and Rico Dowdle, man. Get that man some carries. Get that man more carries. I feel like he's hitting his stride. I feel like just getting him mentally rolling, knowing you're a pivotal part of this offense going into the stretch run. That's what this is. The stretch run is about to be important. But look, it's your boy, Mr. Ron. Y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments about these small, big moves. Are, are they nothing? Or are they something? I say they something. I'm not saying they changing the game. I'm just saying small things turn into big things. I holler.